Hi everyone. Today I'll be giving you the demo on the bank transactions application or even you can call it as invoice transactions application. Similarly, like in the IMS application, just double click the bank transactions icon on your desktop, then it will take you to the login page like this, where you can enter your username and password to access the application. But before doing this, you need to have an account created in this application as well. The IMS account will not work here, but similarly as the IMS account, you can create one account even here. If you are using it for the first time, then click the new user button and sign up to create an account. And then you are good to proceed with your login details. Let us do it here step by step. Click the new user button here just next to the login and button. By clicking it, it will redirect you to the sign up page like this. Just enter your details and click sign up button. Let me give my details. Select the role here if at all if you are the admin, just select it as admin. Give the email ID. And click sign up button. It creates an account for you and provides you the username here like this. As I have given the username as Kanna, so it's showing you here as Kanna, K A N N A, K as capital. So please make a note here that the details are case sensitive. So whatever the username it gives to you in this pop up window, you need to note it down and need to provide the same details whenever you are logging into the application. Okay. So just click OK and it will redirect you again back to the login screen like this. Now enter your username and password, whatever you have created just before and click login. The system will validate your credentials at the back end. If they are correct, then it puts you to the main screen. And if the credentials are incorrect, then it will pop up a message saying that uh, the credentials are invalid and uh, suggest you to please try again. Similarly, like uh, our earlier application here also, you have one more option to reset your password if, it all, if you forget your password. So the system will ensure a secure authentication process to protect your data. So let's try clicking login here okay the given credentials are correct and this is the main screen of the bank transactions application where you can see all the details to enter your transaction information as per your invoice okay like e fda boss mx girls motor pass and so on You can save and view the details as reports and even you can edit and print the report as per your required period dates. We will see those in the next screen once after we enter a couple of invoice details here. Okay. Here you just need to enter the figures in the respective text, text boxes and rest of all the calculations will be taken care by this system let's give some figures here to test the scenario let me enter some details just enter the figures and hit enter key doesn't need to use of any mouse you can directly enter it moves on to the next item but 
this. If at all, if any of the item value needs to be empty, then just hit enter key. It automatically takes blank. By default, it take it as zero. So here, no need to worry. If at all, if you hit any other keys, it doesn't take only it accepts numbers and a decimal point like this just as soon as you hit an enter key automatically it calculates the totals as well like this no need to worry about the calculations and you can see now the shortage is showing here which is nothing but the cash variance it's automatically calculating by doing the calculations like a terminal total minus sales total okay this is the cash variance which is coming as short as 12.69 once all the details you have entered you can hit a save button here it inserts the values whatever you have entered here and uh, i heard that the exact uh, customer count and fuel count uh, will be coming you on the very next day i believe if i'm not wrong as per the information which i received from my friend so you can leave it uh, blank or you can roughly give some figures here and uh, next day you can edit and update the on uh, these values so let's hit the save button you can see that record has been inserted now okay similarly like the way you can enter all the invoice details whatever you guys are having here and just hit save button and if at all if you want to view those whatever the uh, figures you have entered uh, as per the day wise or date wise month wise just click on view button here it will take you to this invoice details screen where you can have all your uh, reports information so just select as per your uh, convenience uh, from which date to which date you want to view so i'm just trying to put the same figures and click view so i have a couple of uh, invoice information here just now i think i have entered one information right so you can see those figures here So these are the values and if you want to edit any here uh, one more thing you need to keep in mind that you can edit this report date values and uh, customer count and fuel count so and all the rest of the figures cannot be editable only these three columns are editable that's the reason i just mentioned here as a note only report date customer count and fuel count can be editable okay so let me show you one example here where i want to edit this report date by mistake i I have given it as 26 so now I want to change it to 27 so instead of writing all these you can just type it in ddmm yyyy format let me show you that 27 slash 02 slash 2025 okay 
just enter and click save the record got updated if you want to check that one you can directly hit view you can see that it's been updated as 27 thursday similarly you can edit cost count let me change it to 96 to 30 and save okay record got updated you can see it's been updated so only these three columns are editable columns even you can sort it out through whatever columns you want okay even one more option is available here but it will be only visible to the admin users and that is a delete option will be available to admin users where uh, admin users can able to delete the record if at all if any uh, record they want to delete and for which and uh, to delete this record they need to have an uh, admin password which will be given to them while uh, launching or setting up this application on their uh, computers so uh, to just uh, um, maintain the data in a secure way and uh, by not allowing to delete by any other unauthenticated users okay let me show you that how you can do that just whatever the row which you want to delete for example this row you want to delete okay just select that row and hit delete and immediately it will uh, pop up a message saying to enter the password whatever shared by the app admin to delete the selected record you need to enter that password whatever we give to you and hit the submit button it validates that password and if that password is correct then it deletes that record you can see that record got deleted just click ok you can see that whatever we have selected right it's it got deleted okay like the way you can even delete whatever the rules you doesn't want to have on your records and uh, even you can print these details by clicking on print option let's see that just maximize like the way you can have all the details whatever the details invoices you have for the complete days which you have selected okay you can even print maximize okay and just if you want to close click close and close while closing this main screen it will pop up whether do you want to exit the application if you say yes it will exit from the application if you say no it remains back on the same page so that's all on this video hope you like this video please drop me your comments if at all if you have any questions okay thank you